Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Butcher Circus, and today we are playing with the underdog team, though I'm gonna be playing it a little bit different than usual. We are playing against what looks like a... this is kind of like what Silac played in the tournament, it's kind of like old gold, except instead of an abomination you have a flatulent, which makes you have a very, very solid team, though my opponent here today, Pekasica, Pek... Pachkas... I don't know how to say that, but I, I just call it Pekasica, is playing with a very aggressive setup on the team, which isn't really what you'd normally do. You'd bring uh, you'd bring an aggressive flatulent, but you'd bring a more defensive doggy, a little bit more defensive antiquarian, and just try to keep all your characters alive while slowly outputting pressure. This team is doing something a little different, it's gonna quickly output pressure. But yeah, today we have a damage bounty hunter, we have both the bounty notice and the heart seeker, so after I drop the mandatory cow troops, I will go for very very big collect bounties and really hurt my opponent, at least that's what I want to do here. I also have a doggy to go for the mark here, which I definitely will. Not only is it gonna get rid of all that prot, it's also gonna mark the men at arms, and I have an arbalist here with snuff and with stabilizing tiller. The reason I have two snuffs is because I wanted my bounty hunter to pretty much do whatever he, he pleased, so that's kind of the reason. If I for the sniper shot right now, I don't do 41 damage, sadly, because I don't have the piercing quarrel kind of lacking on that extra 10% damage, so I suppose I should just go for a bleed on someone. Mm. <laughs> oh, those hit chances. I'm gonna hit the men at arms here, just in case we don't get a crit and uh, things don't work out too well, or in case that the anti current wants to drop rejuvenating vapor, so I'm gonna be honest, I have a pretty good feeling they're, they're gonna spam festering and uh, and they're also gonna spam that uh, Hound's area because they just went for the command buff and they have everything ready to start start peppering me with DOTs. 17 to 31, we do the crit 41 now because we went last, right, with the stabilizing tiller. So if they want to keep their men at arms alive, they need to immediately go for the guard dog here, though that's a bad play because then I'll just shoot you and I'll still likely kill you. Yeah, that's... I don't know. If they do keep him alive, it would be very good for them. Just giving me a free kill isn't too good. What do you mean free kill, Shep? You don't have a confirmed finisher. <laughs> you don't have a confirmed finisher. I mean, you have finish him and, and heart seeker, but 95, 85. Yeah, that's actually pretty rough that you have to deal with an 85. Because those like to fail, those like to fail on the on the enemy characters, so if you do get one of those to fail, the, if they had regen right there, they could just click regen, go for whatever, and then I'd be really, really screwed. But thankfully that's not the case. Well, we have taken a lot of DOT already. That's uh, not looking too good. I could go for a mark here, or I could go for a stun on the Antiquarian. Both are kinda decent. But I think I'm gonna go for a mark on the Antiquarian here. I definitely want to take her out over the doggy, because even though the doggy is doing more strats, she's doing way more DOT, and she's actually the one that's going to, to kill my character. So if you want to keep this Antiquarian alive, you have to do some things now. And <laughs> including moving forward, which I'm pretty happy about. It's pretty much one action of mine for one of theirs, except I have more than they do. So I think that was overall a pretty decent trade. I think I'm going to punish her, even though it's only an 81. Oh, exotic stuff. I wish I had. Uh, I wish I had like a crown of thorns here. Yeah, it would have been really good. But my team is definitely lacking in terms of accuracy. What can you do? I really wanted to drop a punish there. I could have dropped a reclaim on the bounty hunter just to keep him alive for longer. But if I dropped a punish on the anti current, she'd be going down to zero rather quickly and that would have just been amazing, but ah, 12 damage on the sniper shot, that's really not a lot. Hmm, really isn't a lot. You're gonna go for the Rhinosaurus, okay, so now my characters are gonna drop to zero. Come on, resist again. I don't think I resisted. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay, I might want to go for the stun now. Yeah, let's go for the stun now on the Antiquarian. It's, it says it does 4 damage, but it actually does 6 because of the caltrips, so that's one of the big reasons why I love going for the stuns, and yeah, you can see her HP is already faltering, she doesn't really have that much of an HP base. 
I think I should drop a Reclaim here just to keep the Bounty Hunter out of this store. I think that is a possibility. And if they don't heal with their doggy, I will definitely go shot into finish him. I'm not going to try healing myself. If they don't heal their dog, I will most likely do that. Unless I get, you know, fearful and pass. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a possibility. They shouldn't do enough damage here. Yeah, I should have enough HP. And I go hopeless on the Bounty Hunter. That's really bad. That's the move affliction. And Arbalist goes hopeless as well. Okay, that is really bad. That is the move affliction. Well, do I want to risk it? Do I want to risk it? Also, minus 5 accuracy, which could make a difference here because we have snuff. I imagine we do 10 damage. Or do I want to just go for the collect bounty and then go for self-heal? Honestly, that's probably a better play. Yeah, because there's just so many chances of things going wrong if I go for the sniper shot here. So I'm just going to go for this. 19 to 38, by the way. <laughs> it's because I have the plus damage versus mark. We're finally using it. And yeah, that definitely dealt quite a, quite a fair bit of damage. It's only round 3. My characters are all dying. Oh, the move forward. Into the ball. Wow. Into the move on the flagellant. Wow. Okay. That's, that's not very fair. Well, it looks like there really is no justice in this role, because that is a very, very bad turnout of events for, for my opponent here. That went about as bad as could be. They didn't get the kill there, which means that now they've basically just lost, because I could go for a mark on the flagellant after he moved. Mark, shot, punish, whatever, maybe just kill the doggy, and I still have a flagellant for the end game, so they still have to deal with mine. So it would be basically over right there, so let's go ahead and take this uh, team for match number two. And well, it looks like we are going to play against the exact same person, but they quickly changed teams after we did our previous match, because I just queued up immediately and they didn't even change... Uh, no, 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 they did change their team, yeah. They didn't even take too long, so this is probably something that they have up their sleeve, probably their main team, I'd say. And it looks like a Winter Boy's duty, except with a Highwayman, so it's a much more direct damage setup on it, and there's also a flagellant with snuff under a claim, which is definitely interesting. Usually this team has a very aggressive flagellant. No, they're gonna go for Duelist Advance, get the max roll on it, and make it so I can't actually drop the cow traps, <laughs> because it would be... It would be silly here. I, I could try staying alive with guard and reclaim, but there's always a puncture, so... That strategy is somewhat out the window already, but it won't uh, it won't matter too much. We're just going to wait for my opponent to do their stuff. I'm going to drop the reclaim here. I feel like with the lack of DOT they have overall, the reclaim is going to be a hell of a lot better, because even though this is supposedly a DOT team, I don't see Harvest, I don't see Adder's Kiss, I don't see Captivate. Really, I don't want to hit your, your Jester, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> That's really not who I, who I was going for. But sure, I'm gonna go for this flagellant though, I did not go first, so I won't really be able to get a kill here, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but I could just go for a mark on the high man, I won't do enough damage. Yes, the sturdy buckle. Ah, uh, I could just focus the flagellant down. Yeah, he might, he might hit me pretty hard, but I could just focus him down with my collect bounties. Even if the first one doesn't work, the second one will bring him down to zero again and then he's gonna be dazed. So I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna be what we want here. It would be very nice if I had called to go first, because then I could collect bounty now and sort of next round just kill him if I got enough damage, which I probably will. He's gonna get exposed. Okay, my opponent knows that the bounty hunter really is the threat here. But uh, that does make sense. He is quite a threatening boy. 17 to 33, <laughs> I roll for 18. That is disappointing. Disappointing, Bounty Hunter. You have two damage trinkets here. I was hoping you'd do a touch more damage. And now I'm in a weird spot with my Arbals, where whoever I shoot is just fine because they're gonna redeem anyway. Ah. <sighs> Fine, I'll heal myself for seven. Wow, what an amazing heal. Healing for seven. Yeah, not really too much I can do about that, honestly. They're gonna go for the puncture just to prevent caltrips. Just to disrupt me around a little bit, make sure I don't have blackjack or whatever. I suppose that does make sense. Not having the guard here, like not having the guard possibility with the doggy is very annoying, I will say. Oh, it's also take, so they can actually hit the exsanguinate on me. Wow, that is really smart, actually. Yeah, that's actually pretty smart. 
They can hit the exsanguinate on the bounty hunter now, probably with a crit as well. Oh, speaking of crits, I like that. There's the crit 44 that we needed. He actually crits for 44, that's surprising. He crits for more than the Arbalist. Huh? That's actually pretty cool that uh, with this setup he does that much damage. It's a shame it only hits up to position 2. Yeah, it really is a shame. They're gonna go for the Exsanguinate. I'll heal after they hit me just so I have more, more HP after it. And right now I, I kind of want to go for a stun, but yeah, I don't have the, the possibilities here. I do not have the possibilities. I could go for a punish, but that doesn't really accomplish anything for me, so... I'm just gonna drop yet another reclaim onto the bounty hunter. And I'm gonna have to get a kill here just with the punish? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks, because I'm gonna go for the clicked bounty, and then I have to get a kill somehow. Mm. This is why having a bounty hunter as your damage deal really isn't a good idea, but oh well, what can I do about it? I'm gonna go ahead and probably mark that chest, so that's a possibility. He still has regen, he still has a decent amount of regen on him. He has enough, I mean. I could also mark and shoot you. It's probably... Oh, I haven't heard that sound effect before. It's unlikely, or, you know, it's pretty rare that the target whistle actually misses. But it did happen today, the target whistle missed. Pretty funny. I'm gonna go for the Dirk Stab. They don't get the crit somehow, some way. So I'm very happy for that. I'm definitely gonna go for a heal here to get rid of the bleed and just keep my bounty hunter alive and healthy. And you can see my game plan just starting to unfold here. It's not gonna work perfectly because uh, there's a funny little chester here with a funny little thing called Finale, but I'm just gonna try giving this bounty hunter a care package and just try keeping him alive for as long as I can. Well, we're gonna go for the collect bounty now, 19 to 38, crit 50, cut chunk, that freaking crunch on that flagellant. That is a very nice crit 50. I hope I get uh, the 20%, you know, it's very unlikely, but at the very least I will hurt him a little bit. So, you know, I can't really complain all that much. And this is kind of just what I was going for. This is what I prophetized like two rounds ago. This is the game plan. Uh, just uh, exhausting this flagellant over here because I couldn't really go into any of the other characters at that point. I was gonna go for the Dirk Stab, they hit my Houndmaster. He's he's not feeling too happy, I will say. I'm surprised he didn't go for a puncture. So I'm gonna go for the 20 now, but I do not take it. There is no justice in this world. Sadly, my Arbalist can't really finish position one. You know, she, she isn't really a finisher. But, you know, what, what can you do? Oh, they're gonna go for the Expose, they wanna drop the Finale. Yeah, they have three buffs on it, so they can drop a Finale here. I, I just can't hit. I just can't hit that guy. I have nothing to hit him with. It's really upsetting how I have nothing to hit him with. Yeah, it's pretty freaking upsetting. Well, what can you do, right? Um, I could try to mark and shoot someone else. I could try to mark and shoot the Jester here. So I will I will try that. I'm gonna try to mark and shoot him. They can't go for the redeem right now. They have to go for a self-heal or else they die. Uh, actually no they don't. They will not be they will not be day. So what they should what they should do right now is reclaim the Jester. Not go for an aggressive move because they they will not be dazed. Well, they can go for an aggressive punish and get a crit on it as well. Because uh, because why not, right? But now I can go for for this. I do get a crit 42, which is uh, pretty decent, but you know, it isn't really isn't really enough. Because now they're just going to drop a redeem. But this jester is still going to be in a rough spot. He's probably going to get a finale off on my doggy, unless I try going for a redeem here, which I might might do that. But after I do that, uh, if they go Dirk stab, the flagellant will be in position two, so then I can actually kill. So yeah, my best play here is actually to click and go for redeem on the doggy. This is what I should do. Uh, what they should do right now is just go for duelist advance onto my... Just go for duelist advance onto my bounty hunter and just try to kill him. I think that's what they should do. They're gonna go for it. Oh, that sucks. That does suck. Getting that crit right there. Crit 17 into crit 21. Jesus. Yeah, that's gonna ruin my match. That is gonna ruin my match. It's already ruining it. Hmm, they don't even have to go for the finale kill right now. That's that's brutal. That's brutal. That really messes up my match. Hmm. Yeah, because if I drop the Dirk Sam here, they 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna drop. Wow, I missed the 90? I missed the 90 on the flagellant! Oh my god, yeah, no, this is why you don't play damage bounty hunter. You can see that the team kind of works, but it kind of just doesn't. This is it, this is exactly it. My reasoning to go for the collect bounty there was, now if I survive this I can still go for a heal, or if I hadn't survived it I could go for a sniper shot and then a kill start of next round. Unless they would be able to drop the finale first, which they actually would be. Yeah, my plan wouldn't work anyway, I don't think. But I'm gonna try dropping a heal here. If they wanna get a kill, it's gonna have to be through finale. And I'll just try keeping this bounty hunter alive, but like, missing a zero dodge flagellant just from being at this store, you know, collect bounty just isn't a good enough move, I feel, to, to bring it competitively. It just... it just isn't good. At least it's your main damage source. Puncture does 8 damage! It does 48 and you roll for the max roll. Oh my god, okay. I still can't guard because, you know, just BS. But uh, what what can I do, <laughs> I ask myself. Yeah, I can probably try to surrender here. I can probably try to surrender. I can self-heal, you know, it doesn't do me any good, but uh, ain't really too much else I could do at this point. If they miss the 75, things could still turn out okay for me, but I mean... And I really hope to survive both a 60 and a 75. Am I that unlucky and lucky at the same time? Is the question. They're gonna go for the Dirk Snap and yeah, they, they get the Death Flow. So at this point my flagellant is still dazed, so even if I shoot, I still can't go for the kill. Yeah, it's, it's just over. Well, it was a good attempt, but... Sadly, the turns just didn't turn out exactly as uh, as we wanted to. The team is interesting, but would I really play it competitively? No. Don't bring Collect Bounty Mark. Uh, don't bring Mark Hunter competitively. If you want to have him, um, if you want to have Collect Bounty, that's okay. You can have it as a secondary damage source, but never as your main damage source. He's still the finisher character. He's just so much better at it. He has come here there. He has the mark for death, which is 130 accuracy. Also the minus death for resistance. Finish him is just the best thing ever. And uh, you also have one of the best pulls ever, if not the best pull. Yeah, if not the best pull. So yeah, anyway, hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.